Alan here for Old English Outfitters. So today we're taking a look at a new product by Heritage Firearms. Now Heritage is located down in Bainbridge, Georgia. Heritage for a long time has made some single action revolvers. They make them in center fire or rim fire calibers. And they've got a new one. They call it the Barkeep, as evidenced by the box that says Barkeep. Cool little gun. Got about a two and a half inch barrel or thereabouts. Single action, 22 long rifle cylinder comes with it. As with all Heritage guns, one of the nice bonuses they give you is they send you a coupon with the gun <clears throat> that enables you to order a 22 Magnum cylinder from them for $30. You order it online, it's free shipping. Magnum cylinder goes right in this, works fine. This gun comes in two color options. We got this one, which has very nice wood grips and uh, kind of a two-tone look here. The the frame, the top part of the frame is anodized to give it sort of a sort of a false color case hardened appearance. And then we have this one, which is all blue and has kind of the black pearl looking grips. These are 169, these are 179. We shot this one outside this morning. Pretty neat little gun, actually. Kind of cool. Uh, for $169, you're not going to get super polish. You're not going to get super uh, wood to metal fit and finish and all that sort of thing. What you are going to get is, for a budget price, a very serviceable little 22 caliber pistol. Uh, sights are not perfectly regulated for the wide variety of ammunition this thing can shoot. It's a long rifle chamber, so you can shoot shorts, longs, or long rifle in it. So depending on the power, the sights are not going to be exactly perfect for that. But that's okay. It still works all right. We're making one hole. Hey. This gun is single action. So what does that mean, right? You got to cock the hammer fully each time in order to fire it, like any other single action revolver. But this one's a little different than Heritage's other rimfire guns. For starters, it has no ejector rod. So how do you get the empties out? Well, they give you a little tool to help you take the empties out. Just a little push rod is all you need. If you didn't have this, a similarly sized piece of wood or something, maybe not anything super large, but long, correct size to get into the cylinder to push them out. Heritage revolvers are neat because they have a safety tab on them, which is really unique. Most revolvers particularly do not have a safety tab. This one does. It's located right there. So the hammer has a full down position or where it is right now, which is just off right there is a small little safety notch, okay? There's a loading notch, they call it, which is right there. That lets the cylinder turn so you can load it. And then there's the full cock notch, okay? Those are really the functionally the three that you've got. When the safety tab's engaged, the hammer, even though I've got it off that safety notch, still does not go all the way down and touch the firing pin. If you were gonna load and shoot immediately, you'd wanna do that. Put it on that safety notch first right there before you disengage the safety tab. Now, Heritage is always gonna recommend if you're carrying it that you carry an empty chamber under the hammer, even though you still have the safety tab. So they're always gonna recommend that, so keep that in mind. The way this safety tab works is very simple. In this position where it's up against the back of the cylinder frame, the safety is on. When you push it down, you can see the red dot, the safety's now off. And if you look at it, you can see where it's just a simple bar. It rotates up and blocks the hammer, won't let the hammer go all the way down. When you put the safety off, it rotates back to the position where the hammer will now come all the way down against the firing pin. Pretty easy. Nice if you're training a youngster to shoot a pistol like this because you've got that safety tab. Nice if you just want to have that extra safety tab. Pretty easy to operate with your offhand shooting hand thumb if you're running it two-handed, uh, particularly if you're right-handed. If you're left-handed, it might be a little more awkward, but you could still use your, your primary shooting hand thumb to run it. Single action gun, so you load and unload the same way you do other single actions. You gotta go to the half cock or the loading notch it's called, so the cylinder will turn. Open the loading gate and you can put one round in at a time and you're ready to go. Full cock to fire, take the safety tab off and 
fire your six rounds. Now you're ready to unload. Go back to your half cock. Good idea to put safety tab on then. That way you won't forget it if you start putting real rounds back in. Open the loading gate. Take the little tool and push the tool through the front of the cylinder. It'll come out the back, kick the empties out. Very easy, simple little system. It's nice that they give you this with it. Again, you could use anything similar, but it's nice that they give you that with it. Not a bad looking little gun. Uh, back in the day when single action revolvers were state of the art, Colt made very short barreled non-ejector rod guns. They called them sheriff's model. Back then, most of the revolvers were longer barrels, uh, especially on the frontier. Folks liked the really long ones, the seven and a half inch barrels. Not that easy to conceal. So if you were carrying a gun all the time, you wanted something shorter, you went to a short barrel like this. This being 22, could it be used for defensive purposes? Yeah, wouldn't be the most efficient, probably not the most effective thing, but you could use it. The biggest thing about this is it's just a cool little gun. The appeal is really neat and it shoots pretty good for a $170 piece of equipment. Not bad at all. Heritage Firearms, Bainbridge, Georgia. Recap once again, 169 here, the slightly fancier one, 179. We've got them in stock. Pretty cool little gun. Well, that's all we have for today. Thanks for watching. I'm Alan for Old English Outfitters.